that's come over me. What's come over me? Oh, Lord. Finally, no, 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 no. Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this here place I call the mental house. With me, your host, Khadija. Now, as you know, as you know, well, most of us, I guess, who got a little understanding of how this system works, and especially for black and brown bodies, you already know that you would not, at least I hope you would, know that you shouldn't try to bring no charges against no powerful white man mm, mm, mm. unless you had all your I's dotted and all your T's crossed. So I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. A man is innocent until proven guilty. But damn it, let me tell you something. If this pans out to be true, you really fucked up. You really embarrass not only yourself, your community, the city of Atlanta, Georgia, the people in the United States of America. Because, see, we already know Donald Trump is trash. We already heard the telephone call where he's asking to steal votes. See, because all that ain't going to matter to white people. You already know. This systemic bullshit is what's killing us. So if we don't have no kind of discipline at all, if we don't got no kind of dick etiquette, that you like, no, nah, I can't mess with this one. I can't mess with this one. To, there's a scripture that says, shun the very even, the, the very, uh, shun the very existence the appeal the outright the look of an improprietorship well that's not exactly how it go <laughs> it says shun the very appearance of evil so this is evil for a district attorney to pull in a dude to help you pull down the most powerful white crook on the planet with somebody that you having sex with. I don't want to believe it. I want to believe you got more discipline. I want to believe you got more black girl magic than this shit right here. So let's get into this article. It said Fannie Willis, Fannie, I'm sorry. Fannie Willis, Georgia's Fulton County District Attorney who brought election interference charges against Donald Trump and 18 other co-defendants has been subpoenaed in a divorce case involving a special prosecutor that she hired in the Donald Trump case. Because now his wife wants your ass in there to testify. I never heard of any sealed documents from a divorce. Well, I guess I have um, Tiana Taylor. But y'all all know how that went. But this, a process server delivered the subpoena to Willis's office on Monday, according to a, a court filing reviewed by the Wall Street Journal, which first reported the subpoena. The subpoena requests Willis to testify in the divorce case involving her top prosecutor, Nathan Wade, and his wife, Joyce Wade. The Wades filed for divorce in Cobb County, just outside Atlanta, in November 2021. And according to the county, that's according to the county uh, docket, court docket. The filings in the case have been sealed since February of 2022. You already know these people was going to look for anything they could find. If they found a string coming out your hem. They was going to pull the bitch. I mean, y'all got to excuse my language, but I'm very upset. And I'm just trying to be real. I can't, I had to keep it how I feel. 
Earlier this week, Mike Roman, the Trump campaign official and co-defendant in the election interference case, who is facing seven criminal charges, filed a motion accusing Willis and Nathan Wade of an in improper clandestine personal relationship during the uh, pendency of this case. Pendency of this case. The filing offered no proof of the relationship or any wrongdoing. I just hope it's a lie. Because you know all these perverted MFs, ain't nothing going to happen to them. But you think they're going to let your black ass and Nathan get away with anything? I mean, if y'all are having a relationship, and if, if, if it's got nothing to do, if it's on the up and up, it shouldn't be a problem. But if you're using taxpayers' money to go on vacations and all this type of crazy shit, what do you expect? Willis has benefited substantially and directly and continues to benefit from this litigation because Wade is being paid hundreds of thousands of dollars to persecute, prosecute this case on her behalf. The motion states, he will continue to be, to, in, to be incentivized to prosecute this case based on his, his personal and financial motives. So, he has acquired a unique and personal interest or stake in Mr. Roman's continued prosecution. That is, he is motivated to prosecute Mr. Roman for as long as possible because he will continue to make exorbitant an exorbitant amount of money. The motion added. According to the county records interviewed by the Hill, Nathan Wade was paid nearly six hundred and fifty four thousand in legal fees in nineteen I mean in twenty twenty two and twenty twenty three as he worked on the election interference case. Okay. The motion further claimed without evidence that Willis and Nathan traveled together to vacation destinations including Florida, Napa Valley, and the Caribbean. Y'all see that beautiful Caribbean picture I got out there, the beautiful beaches of Bahamas. Anyway, the Guardian has contacted Willis and Nathan Wade for comment. Neither have yet spoken publicly on a subpoena. Oh, man. I mean, here we got Donald Trump in the middle of a Trump um, um, of a case uh, with you, I mean, E. Jean Carroll to testify. And we got all this going on. And y'all decided to be that damn irresponsible. I don't want to believe it. Because, see, I know how this system works. And I especially know how it works for black people. I've seen it long enough now. Okay, that's why it's so imperative. It's so imperative that we find something to build a common ground around. We don't have to all agree. We all from different tribes and different families, and we don't have to agree on everything. But because we are targeted, we have to find something that we come together on. We have to find something that we come that we can't sell out each other for, uh, and to to let this hang cloud hang around. It got to do with sex. It just plays right into the wicked master's hand. Okay, this is a wicked slave master plan that gonna bring you down with your loins. That you uh, so hot in the butt. That you have to go and sleep with your partner that's helping you prosecute Donald Trump. Like I said, you only human. You're only human. And and what scares me and what angers me and what frustrates me is the fact that you went to the church. Most of us, when we mess up, where we run to? We find out we got cancer. We find out we got some problem. Where we run to? 
Every time we feel like we get in trouble, where we run to? See, I'm not that type of Negro. I'm not going to be running to no church house because there's something going on in my life. It's something that I haven't been doing the whole time. That I feel like I have to run to the church and ask for them to wrap their blanket around me. Maybe I should. Maybe my feelings should change. Because I've been brought up in them institutions. I just know what they represent. And funny. I hope to God this is not true. But we're going to see. Because if it don't come out in the wash, it's definitely going to come out in the rinse. So with that being said, what y'all think? Y'all think Fani committed these inappropriate or this inappropriate situation? And if she do jeopardize the whole case of Donald Trump, because you know they they gonna figure out something to fit their purposes. Never ours or anybody that don't look like them. So you are the dream and the hope of the slave, and I just hope you haven't let us down. All right. <laughs> let me know what y'all think. Yeah, because you ain't nothing but some high price. We ain't nothing but some. High-priced, delusional slaves. Okay? Don't get mad about it. Don't get mad. Because let's y'all think Barack Obama could be able to get away with what Donald Trump is getting away with it? So if you if you saying, yeah, go uh, kill yourself. Because you know damn well it's a lie. So with that being said, if you like what you hear, subscribe, share the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.